two years ago, I had the opportunity to be in the Garden of Gethsemane in the Holy Land and to visit that place. And it was a really important time for me because that part of the passion narrative, that part of the story where Jesus is gathered with his friends before his arrest, that has always touched me deeply. I have that connection to Jesus who in his sadness and maybe even fear seeks the accompaniment and solidarity of his friends. And the disciples fail the test. They fall asleep. And Jesus asks that very poignant question, will no one stay awake with me? Theologian and activist Ched Myers says that we are called to stay awake with Jesus in a world become Gethsemane. And I share with him the sense that this is a resonant image for first world Christians. We strive to be in solidarity with our global neighbors around the world, to stay awake to the injustice that face them. And we strive to be in solidarity with Christ in the poor, with those pushed to the margins and victims of greed and violence. But our privileges make us sleepy. It's hard to stay awake to injustice and keep your eyes open to it. And it's inconvenient to respond to the calls of solidarity. And sometimes, like the disciples, we fail the test. But over the last weeks, I've seen 200 people write letters to support women in Colombia, our partners who are facing death threats, and those letters are making a difference and saving their lives. And I've seen you host communities in communities across the country, Salvadoran women who are here to speak to the impact of Canadian mining companies on the people and on the land in that place. And I know folks are preparing for the Truth and Reconciliation Commission in Montreal, preparing to open their hearts to the courageous voices that will give testimony for these and many other acts of justice in communities and churches across the country. We are so grateful for your prayers, for your actions, for your donations, for the way in which you help each other stay awake to injustice and respond to calls of solidarity. We are grateful. And we see a growing movement, a movement that is faithful to that solidarity call of the gospel. On Sunday, on Easter Sunday, the children in my church will open the Alleluia box where we have stored the Alleluias during the time of Lent. And we will say, Jesus Christ is risen today, Alleluia. And we will restore our faith in the one who accompanies us even when we fail the test. Thank you for your solidarity, and happy Easter from all of us here at Kairos.